human like us. They say that long ago on one of these planets, to an unidentified god and one of his goddess wives, a spirit child named Elohim was conceived. This spirit child was later born to human parents who gave him a physical body. Through obedience to Mormon teaching and death and resurrection, he proved himself worthy and was elevated to godhood as his father before him. Mormons believe that Elohim is their heavenly father and that he lives with his many goddess wives on a planet near a mysterious star called Kofi. Here the god of Mormon wives through endless celestial sex produced billions of spirit children. To decide their destiny, the head of the Mormon gods called a great heavenly council meeting. Both of Elohim's eldest sons were there, Lucifer and his brother Jesus. A plan was presented to build planet Earth, where the spirit children would be sent to take on mortal bodies and learn good from evil. Lucifer stood and made his bid for becoming savior of this new world. Wanting the glory for himself, he planned to force everyone to become gods. Opposing the idea, the Mormon Jesus suggested giving man his freedom of choice, as on other planets. The vote that followed approved the proposal of the Mormon Jesus, who would become savior of the planet Earth. Enraged, Lucifer cunningly convinced one-third of the spirits destined for Earth to fight with him in revolt. Thus Lucifer became the devil and his followers the demons. Sent to this world, they would forever be denied bodies of flesh and bone. Those who remained neutral in the battle were cursed to be born with black skin. This is the Mormon explanation for the Negro race. The spirits that fought most valiantly against Lucifer would be born into Mormon families on planet Earth. These would be the lighter-skinned people, or white and delightsome, as the Book of Mormon describes them. Early Mormon prophets taught that Elohim and one of his goddess wives came to Earth as Adam and Eve to start the human race. Thousands of years later, Elohim, in human form once again, journeyed to Earth from the star base Kolob, this time to have sex with the Virgin Mary, in order to provide Jesus with a physical body. Mormon apostle Orson Pratt taught that after Jesus Christ grew to manhood, he took at least three wives, Mary, Martha, and Mary Magdalene. Through these wives, the Mormon Jesus, for whom Joseph Smith claimed direct descent, supposedly fathered a number of children before he was crucified. According to the Book of Mormon, after his resurrection, Jesus came to the Americas to preach to the Indians, who the Mormons believe are really Israelites. Thus, the Jesus of Mormonism established his church in the Americas as he had in Palestine. A.D., the dark-skinned Indian Israelites, known as Lamanites, had destroyed all of the white Nephites in a number of great battles. The Nephites' records were supposedly written on golden plates and buried by Moroni, the last living Nephite in the hill of Camorra. Fifteen hundred years later, a young treasure seeker named Joseph Smith who was known for his tall tales, claimed to have uncovered the same gold place near his home in upstate New York. He is now honored by Mormons as a prophet because he claimed to have had visions from the spirit world in which he was commanded to organize the Mormon church because all Christian creeds were an abomination. It was Joseph Smith who originated most of these peculiar doctrines which millions today believe to be true. 
By maintaining a rigid code of financial and moral requirements and through performing secret temple rituals for themselves and the dead, the Latter-day Saints hope to prove their worthiness and thus become gods. The Mormons teach that everyone must stand at the final judgment before Joseph Smith, the Mormon Jesus, and Elohim. Those Mormons who were sealed in the eternal marriage ceremony expect to become polygamous gods in the celestial kingdom, rule over other planets, and spawn new families throughout eternity. The Mormons thank God for Joseph Smith, who claimed that he had done more for us than any other man, including Jesus Christ. The Mormons believe that he died as a martyr, shed his blood for us, so that we too may become gods. of the 21 adjacent stars and its 76 planets. Um, the incident too, uh, it is a very long, involved, and complex incident. It's about 36 days. It starts out normally with a capture, some kind or another. Uh, capture. And don't think of yourself as I'm trying to run a capture of having been airy ferrying around in the air and somebody something or other and got you down with a net and all that. All of that. 
because people at that particular time and space were walking around in clothes which looked very remarkably like the clothes they wear at this very minute. And the cars they drove looked exactly the same, and the trains they ran looked the same, and the boats they had looked the same. Circa 1950, 1960. Uh, the civilization has simply copied R6 100% because they were told to. And they walked down streets that looked like these streets and lived in houses that looked like these houses and so on. That's, that's what the hell. And there was quite a bit of hopple ruffle and then upset and so on before R6 took place. What it was was the loyal officers uh, were the body the elected body, they called them the loyal officers, they were there to protect the populations and so forth. And they had elected a fellow by the name of Zemu, uh, could be spelled X-E-M-U, to the supreme ruler. elect him and he took the last moments he had in office to really goof the floof. Yes, I don't blame you for dropping something. And uh, <laughs> he took these last moments to really upset it. He of course had several key uh, birds who were close to him. He was the suppressive and all suppressives. He got these administrators and so on and heads of planets in various positions and places. He picked out all the cowboys in the white hat and he got rid of them first fast and then troops not knowing what the hell they were doing but fed all kinds of false orders were fed in against the population to pick them up one after the other rat -a -tat 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 -tat. one of the mechanisms they used was to tell them to come in for an income tax investigation <laughs> and uh, the United States just copies income taxes just are six so much dramatizing psychotics like that when they went and the troops started certain them, and then the troops, of course, were up to get a hold of certain bodies of renegade troops, which were ordered to get certain bodies of bad troops, and they shot each other up and implanted each other and wiped it out. They were making billiard balls out of these places. Uh, they were imported. They were actually... The trick was to shoot somebody, disable somebody very often, a needle into a lung, and at the same time to hit him with frozen alcohol and glycol, which preparation is guaranteed to pick up a bait. All he had to do was pick him up and put him in a refrigerator, and they had him, boy. If he tried to exteriorize from the body, there he was frozen. And uh, they threw him into collection points, boxed them up in boxes, threw them into space planes, which are the exact uh, DC-8, the D DC-8 airplane is the exact copy of the space plane of that day. And uh, no difference, except the DC-8 had fans, propellers on it, and the space plane didn't. And they threw them into refrigerated units and so on in view of the fact that Einstein was absolutely right. Uh, no man can't go faster than the speed of sound, or a lot of uh, speed of light, which is much a ball or dash. The length of time from the planet Coltis to the planet Pigiac, which is the name of this planet, was nine weeks. And you'll see that it's many light years. Coltis is one of the planets, and is to this day one of the planets of the North Star. Polaris. And uh, people were ferried in here by the billions and the billions and the billions, and they were ferried in here with boxes, and they were put in boxes and stacked around, and the people who were on this planet already just caught it in the teeth. They weren't bothered. Nobody bothered to pick them up. <laughs> 
trucks that just shot their administrators from guns and shot their control points out. And they took these people in boxes and so forth and they dumped them and then they set off hydrogen bombs on the top of each primary volcano there is on this particular planet. And when they blew up, it blew the Thetans into the air and after the bomb, an electron ribbon, which also was a type of standing wave, was erected over the area. The tremendous winds of the planet blew everything and there was straight in to those particular vacuum zones which had been created. These were brought down, packed up, and put in front of uh, projection machines, which with sound and color pictures uh, first gave them the implant, which you know as clearing course, and then a whole track implanted, which you know as OT2. After this, however, about a, the remainder of the 36 days, which is the bulk of it, is taken up with a 3D super colossal motion picture, uh, which has to do with God, the devil, uh, space opera, uh, etc. They go five pictures to five words. Uh, we have the full record of what it is. And, uh, it goes on about those days, then these poor bastards were let wander out. Uh, pardon me. They were then boxed up again, and the boxes were mixed, so that there were two assembly areas. One was Las Palmas, and the other was Hawaii. And in these two assembly areas, they took samples from each volcano area and put it in little boxes. They had an assembly line, and at Las Palmas, it runs down the main street of Las Palmas. Uh, We've had more damned accidents on that main street in Shakespeare that. One of our captains was feeling rather queasy until I told her, well, the old assembly line of our six is just 25 feet from you as you ride here on the subway. <laughs> that blew the charge. <laughs> These, the towns that were left and so on were just battered into ruins where you had the renegades and that had been hired and so on, and the administrators that had been loyal to Zemo were still trying to hold out. Within a year, he was in, in uh, under arrest, and uh, within six years, uh, the lot had been wiped out. The loyal officer was triumphant. Zemu was put with several of his cohorts in the center of a mountain, which is still on one of these planets, and uh, in a wire cage, which is charged with an eternal battery. He's not likely ever to get out. There is a base on this planet, and it is so shredded away as to be hardly recognizable. Wherever, then, uh, anybody tries to do anything about this, he's apt to get uh, a flashback. So you mustn't go around talking about being the people who are going to save the planet. You are the people of the planet of days. You are the people who own the planet. You are not the people who are going to save the planet. And thereby you will save it. Conspiratorial gangster computer god communism with
they would again yeah, and and get into a really provocative situation. Then Connery has been married to Micheline for Objective failed. Ah. 